Okay, to create a free web hosting account with Infinity Free, go to infinityfree.net, sign up now, go ahead and input your information, put your student email address. I have already used mine, so I'm going to put something different in here, but you be sure to use your student email address. Make sure that you have clicked on I've read all. I have read and agreed to the terms of service. And go ahead and create a new profile. Traffic lights. Not quite sure about this one. Go ahead and do that one. Motorcycle. Get those two. Next. Oh, traffic lights again. Go ahead and save that. Go ahead. It says here, a verification link has been sent to this email address. Okay, so I'm going to go there. Okay, so they sent me an email. I'm going to go ahead and verify this email address. Okay, I am going to create an account. Create a subdomain. I'm going to put first part of my email address here. Okay, and you can select a domain. I'm going to go ahead and use the default one. It's going to check to see if this has been used before. I'm going to go ahead and check availability. Okay, the domain for this name is available. Okay, I'm just going to leave all the defaults. I'm going to let it generate automatically. I'm going to leave the account password as the default randomly generated, and I'm going to create an account. Okay, got to click on the buses. A lot of these things you have to go through to verify that. Go here. And go about it this way. There we go. All right. This information down here is very important. It has my username. It has my password, which I can show and hide. Right now, it could take up to 72 hours for this to be created. So it's pending creation. Then I'm going to be able to get my FTP details if I click here. Again, my username, my FTP password, my FTP host name, which all this information I'm going to need in Dreamweaver. Again, it can take up to 72 hours for your website to be created. Okay, I also wanted to go over the two emails that Infinity Free will send you. The first one that they sent you was the verify email address you should be clicking on this blue button. Okay, after you do that and you set up your account, they're going to send you this email. So it's a welcome, your new Infinity account has been created. Okay, so you've got just a welcome here. This information you're going to want to save. It has your username. Again, the password can be found in the client area, what we'll get back to. It has your website address. This is the information you are going to send to me. I need this information so I can check your homework. All right, so you can go to Infinity Free to view your account. I've already clicked into it. At the top here, you can click into the control panel. Okay. I do want to mention at this point, you're probably going to get another dialog box and you're going to have to agree to it. I can't show it here because I've already done it.
if you click up at the top here, you can go to the client area or back to the client area. I'm going to click here. Again, most of the information we're going to need is going to be the FTP details. You can also see your website name here.